Hello everyone. In this hopefully very brief video, I wanted to talk about system processes in Windows, what they are, how you can see which ones are running, how you can stop them if, uh, if so desired. And I'm doing this because I recently had to scan through the services running on my mother's machine um, after she uh, was convinced by a scammer to give them remote access to her machine. And so I wanted to make sure that there wasn't anything funny going on. But while I was doing that, and I did that remotely, by the way, so there's an irony there, I guess. But as I was doing that, she said, and anybody who's familiar with Windows processes knows there's what seems like a thousand of them running in the background. But she said, how could you ever know whether these were legitimate or not legitimate? And it's a very good question. Even to this day, I have to look some of them up on Google just to see what it is that's going on. But even so, I wanted, to, I wanted to create this video to let everybody know that there is a lot of stuff going on in the background all the time. Your machine never sits idle. And how can you see exactly what it is that's going on? And it's not terribly difficult to see them. To make sense of them is another story. But to just see them and see which ones are running and even to stop them normally is not that big of a deal. The one that, that I'm going to show you is a big deal. It really does not want to be stopped. And so we'll talk about what happens when you try to stop one and it, it won't quit. We're going to start, and like I said, none of these procedures are all that difficult. We're going to start with um, the one that I guess you could say is the most roundabout at the DOS prompt, and then we're just going to move on to, um, to some GUI ways of doing it, to some graphical user interface ways of doing it. So um, to start, we want to bring up the command prompt, if you are not familiar with that. It's very easy type in cmd. It's actually cmd.exe. That's the executable for the command prompt. But if you type it into the search bar down there and then hit enter, you get this. And to see which processes, which services, which tasks are running, uh, we type in task list. And when I do this, I use the pipe that is that shares a key with the uh, backslash. It should be what right above the enter key and then more. So task list pipe more. It's piping the more to task list is the way it works. And the reason I do that is because when you hit enter, it'll show you only one page worth, one windows worth of results. And then if you want to see more, you hit enter. I mean, you hit uh, space bar <laughs> and it shows you another page of results. Whereas hitting enter, as you just saw, will show you the results line by line. So space bar, space bar, and it's the easier way to do it because if we hit the up arrow, that'll show us the last command we typed in. If we just do task list, they all race by like that. You can't see anything. So we do task list more, and we see this. We either go line by line with the enter key or space bar all the way down. And if you look uh, just a little below the halfway point there, you will see game scanner service.exe, and it has a process ID, a PID of 13008. And game scanner service is something that's installed by Razer. I use one of their Chroma mice. It's got an nifty RGB thing going on. More importantly for me, it's wireless. Uh, but they seem obsessed with the fact that I'm using it for gaming. I don't use this machine for gaming at all. So uh, I don't want this service, this game scanner service running. So the easy way to kill this or any service that you see in here, if you want to stop it, you type in task kill and incidentally, you want to be sure that you type task kill, not task ill. It needs to have both K's in there. It's two words. It's a concatenated uh, term. And I see that error get made all the time. So task kill and then forward slash this time, not backslash, forward slash PID and the process ID of the task that we want killed. And in this case, it's game scanner service.exe, which is 13008, as you can see right there. And then we hit enter, and of course it tells us the process with PID 13008 could not be terminated, reason access is denied. See, the machines are taking over. They're telling us what we can and can't do. They are telling us that access is denied to our own machines. Stephen Hawking was right. It's only a matter of time. So what are we going to do about this? The reason it's being denied is because it has a child process, and it's actually a child process itself. And you can't kill tasks that will leave these, these orphaned processes going on. So we can we can modify our task kill command a little bit. We can do forward slash t and then forward slash f. Forward slash t means kill the task and all its child processes along with it. 
it's morbid, really. It's violent. And forward slash F means force kill. It's like a force stop. So um, this is a real scorched earth way of doing it. It's, it's like, you know, dropping a little nuclear bomb on the thing. So we hit enter and it still won't terminate. Even when we've done this, even when we have nuked it, it still will not be terminated. And you can see there it's a child process of PID 812. So what could that be? Well, PID 812 is a much larger, uh, much larger service that's running. And so in order to start getting a better handle on what it is that's going on, one thing I like to use is Process Explorer. Process Explorer is something you need to download from the uh, Microsoft website, and I will put the link to that in the uh, notes underneath the video. But if we run, whoops, hold on a second. Let me close that. Run it in administrator mode. You can get some extra information. Yeah, of course, why not? It'll give you some extra information there. And the other interesting thing is it now has virus total integration. I mean, it's had it for a few years now. And in mine, anyway, every once in a while, you'll see this thing here. If you're familiar with VirusTotal, it's a website where you can upload a file that you believe is infected or is a virus, and it will tell you what all the major um, antivirus companies say in response. So when you see one out of 67 or one out of 68, you see that here, and you see it here, and you see it here. That means one of the 67 or 68 antivirus scanners that they use identified the file as a threat. So what that means is it's not a threat at all. Um, only one out of 67 did it. Whenever you see that, it's just a false positive in this case. So another weird thing is I always just like to arrange it by verified signer right off the bat and see if there's any anything that looks suspicious, and there's not here. So then I will say view, show process tree, and let's see what's going on. Oh, look at this, 812, services.exe. Remember that our game scanner service was a child of 812. It's a child process of PID 812. See that right there? So look at everything else that's going on. Lots, lots of things are, are child processes of this. We, don't, we certainly wouldn't want to kill that. So we'll go down. Where is this? Where is the game scanner service? There it is. Game scanner service. And just by mousing over it, it gives us a lot of information about what it is and what's going on. And if we right click on it, there's a lot we can do. If you want to get some details about it, you can right click and bring up the properties. This gives you a, a ton of information. And really, the, the most information you can get for it is under the strings tab. This will tell you more than you would ever want to know about any single file. So from here, we'll right click and kill process. Are you sure you want to kill game scanner service? Yes. And it's killed. Interestingly enough, sometimes with Process Explorer, it simply will not die. It won't, it won't kill. It'll say it's denied. And that's because it will have its own child service running underneath it. And you can't kill a parent leaving an orphaned service, an orphaned process. Not only that, you can see that it just started right up again. So is there something else that we can do about this? And there is. Again, we'll start here, type in services. This, if you want to go the, the, the full Monty, it's services.msc. But you can just click on services or hit enter. And then you get this. Oh, one other thing I should say is if you bring up the task manager, you can look at services here also. And from here, you can start or stop them. But I recommend doing this from the from the services window, which you will also get by saying open services right here in the menu from task manager. And you'll notice in startup under Razor, the game scanner is not listed. So you really want to get in here into the services.msc panel. And let's see if we can figure out where this is. Uh, I don't know what they would call it. Razor, Razor game scanner, I guess. Here it is, Razor game scanner. And over here, you can see it says running and automatic. So even when we kill it here, Let's go back. Even when we kill it here, kill process. Okay. Good. And there it is again. It's like a zombie. It won't die. You shoot it, it goes down, it comes back. It's the undead of Windows processes. 
So here it is. This is the issue here. It says it's running and it's automatic. And what automatic means is when the system or some related process needs it, it will start. And we don't want that to happen. We don't want it to run at all. So we'll right click here. We will say properties. We have automatic delayed start. You can do that. So I don't know exactly how long the delay is, but if everything is trying to, to get access to your system when you boot, it's going to be like the merge lane on the 405 at 5 p.m. And so you can, you can spread out the ways that these services start and it won't slow down your machine as much when it starts up. Or you can just have them all start at once. Manual means that you can start it. And actually from the command line, just like, like we killed a task, we can also start a task by using the command net start and whatever the name of the service is that you'd like to uh, get up and running. Manual means manual doesn't mean that you start it manually. It means that it will start when it's needed, even if it's another service that needs it. And then finally, disabled means it won't start at all no matter what. So we'll stop the service and then we'll apply this and then we'll say OK. And then if we come back here, you can see it's not starting up again. That's because we set it to disabled. If we set it to manual or we set it to uh, automatic, then even killing it wouldn't get rid of it. It would come back. And so these are the ways that you can see what tasks are running that you can kill them from the command line, or you can use a Process Explorer to stop them. Or if that doesn't work, if they just keep coming back, they won't leave you alone, then you can use the services.msc panel to set them to disabled, and that should be it. And then, of course, just on a side note, if we go uh, into here, for example, for startup, then you can see what's in here. Look, Java Update Scheduler. Good, jeez. So you might want to go through those and see whether or not they're something you really need to have started. And you can even go through this list and do the same thing. And if you're not sure what something is, absolutely look it up. See if you can identify what's going on. And especially if you come across a, a uh, process or a task that in your searches shows that maybe something suspicious is going on, then that's really something you might want to consider shutting down. So there you go, very easy. Uh, there's a lot of processes, but once you know how to start them, stop them, identify them, uh, kill them, then it's not too bad. And hopefully this helped you get a handle on it.